Good morning, children. I am your social science teacher. Now, see, children, in the previous class, I have started with the lesson history, colonialism, and tribal societies, children. See, under this, we have completed about the tribal people, tribal life during the 19th century, and impact of land revenue system we had studied in the previous class. Today, let us study about the construction of railway network and Christian missionaries, tribal revolts in Chotanagpur, coal rebellion, we are going to study today, children. Before I start today's class, I want to just revise for you the previous topics, children. See, in the previous class, we have studied that there is a large tribal community in India and there are and their names are different. They live in states of Odisha, Rajasthan and Bihar, I have told you, children. And the tribal population of India is collectively known as the scheduled tribes. They call, they'll be called as scheduled tribes, that is AST. According to the census of 2011, the scheduled tribes constitute 8.6% of the Indian population. And they are living away from the mainstream society. The ways of tribal life are quite very different children. And today, in the earlier days before the British took political control of India, the tribals led a scheduled life away from civilization and their interaction with the mainstream population was very limited. They had their own sets of rituals and traditions and which were different from that of the non-tribal population of India children. And they led a simple lives and undertook various activities to sustain themselves. We will now study about the different activities practiced by the tribal communities of India. Hunting and gathering was their main practice. They used to hunt and gather the food. They sold products procured from the forest, such as herbs, medicinal values. And the tribal groups reared animals for milk and meat. Some tribals lived in temporary settlements. They moved from one place to another. And they reared animals, they domesticated. And they lived in the parts of the ghadis of Himachal Pradesh. And then Bakarwals of Kashmir and the Labadis of Andhra Pradesh children. I have told you about all this in the previous class. Agriculture was the main source of livelihood for the tribal people. Many tribal communities followed shifting cultivation that is called as Jum cultivation also. Under Jum cultivation a small patch of land, mostly forest land was cultivated. And then they used to clear by burning the vegetation on that particular piece of land. And then the cultivators would also cut down trees to let sunlight reach the ground. Once this land was used for cultivation, the cultivators would move to another piece of land. So this is called as shifting cultivation children, moving from one land to another land. Besides practicing shifting cultivation, many tribal communities chose to settle at one place and practice agriculture. So this we have studied about in the previous class. Today let us study about the construction of railway network. See children here, the construction of railways by the British government, by the British government, dis disturbed the tribal life. They disturbed the tribal life to lay the railway tracks. A large part of forest was cleared to lay the railway tracks. This forced a lot of tribal people to move out of the forest and some parts of the forest were declared as reserved forest. Only it was called as reserved forest some places. Understand? That is they were to be used by the government for their supply of timber. The tribals and the village found it difficult to survive with so many restrictions children. Many Christian missionaries were also active in the tribal areas. The tribal communities resented this and they saw this as an intrusion children. Their resentment transformed into violent outbursts that came to be known as tribal revolts. See now, tribal revolts in Chota Nagpur. See here in India, there were results lot of British encroachment on their lands. The Britishers encroached the lands in India. That means encroachment means they occupied. Encroach. Britishers occupied most of the land in India. 
and the tribal communities were a close knit group of people who had limited interaction with the non tribal population see this tribal people who were living in the forest they did not have that much of interaction with the people who were non tribal people like us we are not tribal we are non tribal population we are all so they did not have any interaction with us they considered the non tribal population especially the british officials those days they used to consider non tribal population means that is the british officials and the landlords who used to help them and the money lenders who give money for interest as outsiders and the tribals referred to these outsiders as dikos they were called as dikos they were called children during the british period the chota nagpur region witnessed a series of rebellions starting from the coal rebellion followed by the santan and munda see coal rebellion santalis i have told you in the beginning itself and mundas so who are these coal rebellions they were inhabitants of chota nagpur they were the inhabitants of the chota nagpur region the king of porat accepted the british control and agreed to pay huge taxes to them so the king of this coal rebellion accepted to pay the huge taxes to britishers and the coal used traditional weapons like bows arrows you all know bow and arrow children you all know how the bow and arrow will be yes so they used this as their weapons which proved to be no match to the british troops you know how the british troops will be which used modern weaponry they used all modern weaponry whereas this type of tribal people they used only bow and arrow children and the next is santal rebellion the santal tribes inhabited the santali paragans in jharkhand they lived in jharkhand they lived children understand and the people of santal tribe were unhappy after the british introduced the system of permanent settlement they were now reduced to the status of tenants on their own land and many of their tribal chiefs were replaced by non tribal landlords they replaced tribal people by the non tribal landlords children and the british initiated the construction of railways with the intention of expanding their colonial rule they wanted to expand the business so they now to carry the goods they wanted trains so they wanted to lay the railway tracks children in 1853 the british started the construction of a railway track in the santal paragan region that is from jharkhand this angered the santal tribes as they felt that their tradition life was going to change drastically they thought that now our life is going to change entirely drastically means differently it is going to change with the railway track passing through their region where they were living through their region this railway tracks were laid and they found it very difficult children with the implementation of the permanent settlement the santals felt detached from their land which they considered blessed by their ancestors and the resettlement built up took the form of the santal rebellion of 1855 children so today i have taught you about the construction of railway network so children in my next class i'll be continuing this chapter i have given you a few question and answers and a small worksheet will be given work it on that children thank you all children have a nice day